Well guys, I made a CPU downgrade and I actually gained a lot in FPS, overall system performance and even quality of life while using my system. That's simply because having a CPU with a higher number is not always gonna be better. Sometimes you're just losing performance or leaving performance on the table, depending on your choice. So let's get straight into it. As those of you who have been following the page for a while will know, I did the switch after basically my whole life on Intel. I tried AMD for my personal system after Ryzen 7000 came out. So for six years, I had an ITX Intel system. And then in the high y 60 you see right here, I made a build, the video is on the channel, and I got a Ryzen 9 7900X, the 12 core 24 threaded AMD counterpart. And I mounted it on a simple MSI X670P, pretty normal motherboard with Gen 5 support, which I need for video editing. Now, my experience with AMD so far has been pretty good and I am actually staying on AM5. So it passed the test for me. I think Ryzen CPUs are finally viable, even for somebody who does a lot of different tasks like me and who needs all the latest tech on the platform. However, since day one, I've had issues with memory on this platform. So Ryzen 7000, aside from going all the way up to 95 degrees, if you leave it at stock, it had a lot of memory compatibility. In the original video, I built the PC with XPG RAM, and then I had to switch to Team Group T-Force just to make them work. I also know of a lot of people who could not get a simple 6000 megahertz CL40 XMP working if you had a Ryzen 7, like the Ryzen 7 7700, because the IMC was just terrible. It was the first generation of AMD with DDR5 and it was not a good iteration. So even though my temperature issues were solved by undervolting the CPU and setting it properly, memory issues really never went away. They never allowed me to tweak the memory properly, even with very good DDR5. Plus, I recently upgraded my GPU to an RX 1700 XTX. I had a 4090 for a while, then I decided that 4090s are useless and are rapidly coming down in price. So I sold mine to avoid depreciation and got 1700 XTX from Taichi Azrock, the one I have right behind me. And well, this Ryzen 9 without 3DV cache was making a bit of bottleneck and I was actually leaving out FPS on the table, which is why I got this. So what I switched to is the latest Ryzen 7 9700X, an eight core 16 threaded CPU. So I'm downgrading four cores, eight threads and eight core 16 threads are gonna be enough for most users. Even if you do productivity, again, I do photo editing, video editing, lots of productivity work and even some renderings. Eight core is fantastic. Even if I'm doing decompression and compression, I have not seen a difference by switching to this. I have seen a difference in system latency, PC is now more snappy and even though tech reviewers are not talking much about it, the biggest difference with this is the memory controller. So Ryzen 9000 has a very solid memory controller. I was able to tweak my RAM a lot more. I also released a guide on how to tweak RAM on AM5, which is gonna work for 7000 Ryzen as well. It is where you need it the most, but if you're doing it on 9000, it's gonna be like super easy. It's gonna work a lot better because they have better controllers. Sweet spot is still 6000 megahertz, but you can go a lot tighter with the timings and you can actually push it a bit higher if you want to. We also get a massive efficiency increase by going Ryzen 9000 and by losing four cores. Zero negatives in losing the cores and the PC is also running a lot cooler and a lot quieter. Now I have a deep cool LT720 with Arctic fans in my system. So very good cooling setup, but still if I was under full load, even if undervolted, I could hear it a little bit with the Ryzen 7000. Now I cannot hear it anymore. This thing out of the box goes to 70 degrees and after undervolting it, it doesn't get warm. It stays at like 60 degrees, which is crazy good efficiency. And also lower power consumption. Ryzen 7000 had the idle power consumption issues, which were mitigated, yes, but never fixed. This doesn't have them. So Ryzen 9000 is what I think AM5 should have been from the beginning. It's a mature platform and I'm very happy with the upgrade. And I actually recommend you guys do the upgrade from Ryzen 7000 to Ryzen 9000. I don't know why, well, I understand the point of most big channels telling you that it's a pointless generation because the prices are pretty high. But now listen, these, they just came out like a month ago and uh, I managed to buy one used, even though they just came out for 300 bucks. Can you guess how much I sold my old Ryzen 9 for? 300 bucks. So I paid zero for the upgrade. So I'm pretty happy. That's to say that the market is shifting. So if you play it right, you can upgrade with like 50 bucks from a Ryzen 7, 7,000 to this. And uh, 
the 50 bucks are worth it guys trust me my pc is now fully amd so i have amd gpu amd cpu and i will report back if you guys want me to in maybe a year and let you know what I think about it. Because AMD, it's a positive review for CPUs because I have nothing to report compared to Intel. Like no negative day-to-day -day things. We discussed the platform issues, but that's about it. AMD GPUs, again, I made a video about the uh, RX 1700 XTX, I think it's a great car to buy, but I am missing the Nvidia features a little bit. So we'll see in a year's time what I think about it, if you guys care about it. And also guys, remember to drop a like and to subscribe to the channel. One last note on the Ryzen 9000 series. So this is not just more efficient out of the box. If you go ahead and undervolt it slash overclock it, difference is massive. I'm seeing like, compared to my old CPU, I'm seeing a 20% single core increase, real world, which is crazy difference since I paid zero for it. But even if you pay for it, it's like crazy good difference and definitely worth the upgrade. Let me know what you guys think about Ryzen 9000. If you would have made the upgrade, or well downgrade like I did. And if you're planning on doing the same, I really wanna hear about it down in the comments. I read them all. And I also hope to see you guys again in another video. Bye bye.